Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on representing an inequality on a number line. Now what do we mean by an inequality? Let's just recap that. Well when we write this, so x is this symbol free, that symbol there means greater than. So this is basically saying that x can be any value which is greater than free. So for example 4 is a bigger number than 3, it's greater than 3 and so that would be true. So if we write the possible values that x could be, x could be, for example, 4. 4 is bigger than 3. What else could x be? x could be 5. 5 is bigger than 3. Or if we allow decimals, um, for example, 4.5 is greater than 3. So it could be 4.5. You can see there's infinitely many values there could be. We can keep on listing these forever. And we want to represent these on a number line. So, for example, in this case where x is greater than 3, if we put 4 on the number line, it could be here. If we put 5 on the number line, that would be here. 4.5, it could be here. So we can see we get basically loads of different dots. You can probably see that if I had like sort of 4.2, 4.2 is bigger than 3. So we've got lots of different dots and we can combine these into a line. And what we do is we're saying that x can be any value that's greater than 3, but not including 3. So what we do at the 3 is we put an open circle. And the open circle means we don't want to include 3. The fact it's not filled is suggesting that we don't want to include it. But x could be any value that's greater than 3. And what we do is we get a line of points going up all the way up to kind of infinity. And we put an arrow to basically say it can be any value going up. It could be like 100. x could be a billion because a billion is greater than 3. It's a bigger number than 3. So we have an open circle, meaning that we don't include 3. So that was part A. What about the next part? x is less than or equal to 4. So it's saying that x can be any value that is less than or equal to 4. The or equal to means that x could be 4, because 4 is less than or equal to 4. So what we do is we, using that number 4, we put a filled circle on the 4. And that means we do include 4. And then x can be any value that's less than 4 as well. So if it's less than, we go in this direction. Because in this direction, we've got like 2, for example. 2 is less than 4. And it's going down forever. So that's part B. So just to recap, if we have greater than or we had less than, we have an open circle. If we have less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, if we have the words or equal to, then we have a filled circle to say that we're including that value itself. And by the way, always ensure that the number here, we have a circle on the number line. So three, we've got a circle at three. Here we've got four, you should have the circle at four. What about the next one? C, x is greater than one, and x is less than 4. Another way of saying this is that x is between 1 and 4. So I could say that as x is between 1 and 4. But it doesn't include the values. So x can't be equal to 1 because x is strictly greater than 1. And x can't be 4 because x is strictly less than 4. So we're going to put the circles on the 1 and 4. I said wherever you have the number in the inequality, you should have circles. And because this is less than, this is less than. We don't want to include those values, so we have open circles. So I'm going to put a circle on the 1, an open circle, and an open circle on the 4 here. And x can be any value between the two. So we put a line here to say that x could be any value between them, but not including these values because they can't be 1 and 4. So that was part C. And the final one x is between minus 1 and 3. Now x is greater or equal to minus 1. So x could be minus 1. I'm going to put a filled circle on there. Now x is less than 3 but can't be equal to 3. It doesn't include 3 so we put an open circle on 3. And x can be any value between the two and so we draw it like that. So that is part D and that's the final answer.